Now, an earthquake measuring 4.2 on the Richter scale shook Kent in the early hours of this morning, prompting a torrent of calls to the police. With me is Professor David Rothery. He's a Professor of Planetary Geosciences at the Open University. Wonderful to have you here with us. Right. Let's just remind ourselves, first of all, of what happened in the early hours of this morning. We're talking shortly before 3 o'clock when we saw that uh, epicentre just by Ramsgate, 4.2 in magnitude but that isn't all is it because it was felt over a far wider scale than that tell us what we're looking at here well you're looking at places where people reported they felt the earthquake i think mean, near the epicenter mm -hmm. people will have it will have felt like a lorry going past the house and right. juddering the building yeah. i don't think many people have seen things falling over or the lights swaying but just just a strong vibration which we've only gone on for a few seconds it was felt in france and Belgium as well, which isn't on this map. Most of us to share that or share our tremors like that. Yeah. But and all the way up, as we see there, to Bista and Stamford as well. So, uh, in terms of the magic, you were saying there, uh, not big enough really to cause major damage, but nevertheless, uh, quite significant when you look at it in that way. What, what well, it, explain what we're looking at here. Well, this is the trace on um, a, a seismometer nearby in the UK, and it's calibrated for giving details of very tiny tremors which go on. Wow. Now, a magnitude four and a bit earthquake. Wow has ten times more vibration than a magnitude three earthquake, which is ten times more vibration than a magnitude two. So this is an in here's a trace, not, not much happening, and then it suddenly arrives and wham, 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 wham. Oh uh, but that was the shaking, and you can see it probably did only last just a, uh, just a few seconds. And, of course, we're not strangers um, to tremors like that, are we? Even though uh, we think it's remarkable, we had one of a similar magnitude, well, at Folkestone in 2007. Yep. Go back to 1382, we had one of 5.8 magnitude, uh, 1580. That one well, killed people. That one did? Yeah. I mean, because normally when we say earthquakes on this scale, they don't cause major structural damage, or do they? It depends how close they are to the surface and mm -hmm. how close they are to a built up area. I mean, this was in the middle of the English Channel, but even so, people in London, two children in London were killed by stones falling from a roof on that one. Nobody was killed uh, in Folkestone nine years ago, nobody was killed today. Nobody was killed today, thankfully. Nevertheless, people did wake up and realise yeah. what was going on. In fact, just take a look at some of the reaction we've had on social media. You can see there are people there tweeting, saying, woke to the house, shaking. Uh, my God, that earthquake has freaked me out. My house really shook. Can the uh, Kent earthquake really have been 4.3 magnitude? Whole house shook. Interesting question. How does this compare to what happened in Nepal, that devastating earthquake we saw? OK, well, Nepal was magnitude 7.8, almost magnitude 8, so that is almost 10,000 times stronger than the Kent earthquake. Mm -hmm. and, it, and that was very shallow as well. Similar depth to this, actually, but if you're close to the Nepal earthquake, where one plate is grinding over another, the movement there, the Himalayas lurch southwards by about four metres. Uh, the movement here would have been about four centimetres. Well, we're going to have to leave it there, but lucky escape for us all, Professor Rothery, yeah. thank you.